can actually make a difference. So when you, when you are buying product, think about what you're doing. When you are buying your car, think about what you're driving. And realize that it's about taking one step at a time. I know it can be daunting, you know, what can I do, right? But just as Lao Tzu once said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So take that step forward, one step at a time, and be mindful about the decisions that you're making. Okay. So I just want to uh, end before I introduce Mr. Barr by saying that, you know, it, it really is no longer a choice. It's an imperative that we all engage, that we collaborate, that we connect, that we communicate, that we share ideas. Uh, I recently started with uh, my friend Yamas from Office Depot, uh, South Florida Green Drinks here in our local community to bring together the people who have an affinity for green lifestyle and green business to share ideas. And that's what this is about. You know, we're all in this together. We all live under the canopy of the planet's ecosystem together. We all share the future. So on that note, uh, I want to say that it's time to face the facts, face the truth, and face the future together. And it is with immense gratitude and honor that I introduce former Vice President Al Gore, world leading educator, champion of climate change, influencer, leading catalyst of the modern day environmental movement, recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize in 2007, a man who has been driving awareness through the Alliance for Climate Protection and the Climate Project, and for those of you who don't know, was very influential in the saving of the Everglades in our own backyard. Woo! Renowned, respected author of The Brilliant Inconvenient Truth, which was part of the equation, and today we're gonna hear about the other part of the equation, which is the solution, our choice. So through business, life, nonprofit work, his educational outreach, which is so, so critical, please stand to welcome the remarkable former Vice President, Al Gore.